Hello, in this video we are going to um, explain how this uh, exercise problem is going to be solved. So if you remember our uh, ski company exercise, so we, we came up with the model, the basic model, which is already here, right there in the Excel file, okay? So this is the first model that we developed here in this exercise. One spreadsheet is going to explain you know, what you need to do. Um, so it says that to make the following changes to the Sklenka ski company model, we solve using solver and answer the following questions. Hopefully, at the end of this video, you would be uh, sharpened, your Excel skills would have been sharpened. Um, so in part A, for example, it says increase the unit profit on journey of skis by $10. What happens to the calculation? Could you have predicted this from the sensitivity report? Well, um, I'm not going to go over all these parts. I'm going to leave them as an exercise to you, but you know, I will ask for this part A and maybe part B with you. Uh, so if you go back to our sensitive report, well, it says that the question is, increase the unit profit on Jordan Ilskis by $10. So the sensitivity report, uh, Jordan Ilsky company, uh, the objective function coefficient is 50, so it says that, okay, if we, we make this 50 to 60, what happens? So it says that the allowable increase is infinity, right? So if you make this 50 from 50 to the 60, this is going to be within the range. So we are not violating any allowable increase, allowable decrease in ranges, ranges here. But the objective function value, the final values are not going to change. Um, these values are going to remain the same. We will be still producing 5.75. The objective function value is going to be increased by, you know, since I increased this uh, unit profit from 50 to 60, it's going to be 525 times 10, $52.5 dollars extra we will be making. Okay, if you don't believe me, let's try it out. Uh, these are the original values, okay. In the baseline case, so the total profit is this, so let's make this to 60. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the total profit, so these numbers, they did not change. So let's make them, copy them here in 10.5. Total profit increased to 997.5. Exactly $52.5 more we made, right? Okay, so we could have predicted, predicted this from the sensitivity report. That's part A. So the part B is decrease the unit profit on Jordan Nail skis by $10. What happens? Could you have predicted this by looking at the sensitivity report? So, okay, let's go back to our sensitivity report one more time. So in our sensitivity report, what you see here, our allowable decrease is 6.6. .6. So 10 is greater than 6.6, .6, right? So if you make this 40, then this final value is going to change, right? Because the level decrease uh, is only 6.6. .6. So we can only make this uh, value greater than 44.4, okay? We cannot make it less than 44.4. .4. If we do, then something else is going to happen in this problem. It's going to change the structure, mathematical structure of this problem. And this final value is going to be a different value. Okay, so let's try it out. So therefore, we cannot use sensitivity analysis report to predict exactly what's going to happen. Okay, so let's make this uh, exercise one. It's going to be 40 instead of 50, right? And then let's see what happens to optimal solution. We have to resolve this. And the problem becomes the objective function of the optimal solution values for the stream labs become 0 and 14, and then we will be losing money. Okay, and I could not have predicted this by using sensitivity analysis report. In the rest of this exercise, I want you to fill out these parts, okay, C, D, E, F, and G.